Om Shanti. Because you are always reaching and striving, society often praises the effort to be okay as something holy. But true spirituality isn't about striving. It's about being okay. You are inherently okay. That's the absolute truth. Each one of you is the most complete being ever to walk the earth, always, without exception. However, most people don't realize this. They believe they need various things to be okay. A relationship, money, travel, vacations. They need this, they need that. They need their favorite foods and to avoid things they dislike. It's as if you think you are not already okay. Therefore, you believe you need certain things to be okay. And you need to avoid things that make you feel worse. If you reflect on it, how long has this been the case? your entire life. There was always a toy you wanted, something you didn't get, or a time when your siblings received something you didn't. Your whole life you felt not okay. Of course, sometimes you did get what you wanted. But tell me, how long did that feeling last? When was the last time you got what you desired and didn't want something else soon after? The satisfaction never lasts. It never lasts long. This isn't about renouncing what you think will make you okay. That's not the point. Especially if you do that in the name of God. Renouncing everything you think will make you feel better. In an attempt to love God, it won't work. You won't find love for God that way. It's not a natural approach. Start by acknowledging that you are not okay. And there is nothing wrong with recognizing that. The question is, what do you do about it? Naturally, you'll try to feel okay. It's instinctual. You dislike feeling lonely, scared, jealous or needy. You dislike being in love if you can't be with the person you love. You dislike being in love with someone who is also in love with someone else. Did I get that right? It doesn't matter what's happening. You are not okay. Except for those fleeting moments 
where you feel, oh my God, this is what I've always wanted. This is working. I would never take those moments away from you. They are beautiful. But tell me, how long do they last? You've never had a relationship that didn't eventually fall apart, isn't it? Whether the other person left, things fell apart or you left, it doesn't matter. The point is, there was something inside you that felt incomplete. And for a while, this relationship made it feel better. And that's wonderful. Anyone who says otherwise is wrong. It is wonderful to feel good. The trouble is, it doesn't last. So the essence of spirituality is recognizing this. Understanding that your consciousness perceives this inner discomfort and acknowledging I am not okay. For instance, she wants people to say what she wants to hear. She wants people to wear something different from her. Yet still, like what she's wearing, she has preferences and desires, and she just wants to age gracefully. There are things she avoids thinking about because they make her uncomfortable. The truth is, she is not okay, and that's fine. The foundation of spirituality is accepting this truth. You are not okay, and that's okay. Don't deny it. Om Shanti.